when that team sheet came out at 11.30 today, I was in no doubt, and thousands of other fans were the same as me, that we were in for another 90 minutes of fantastic Bruce Paul. And boy, were we not wrong. This is the Toon Review. Hi everyone and welcome to the Tune Review. Uh, looking back at Newcastle United's performance against Chelsea today, which finished Newcastle United nil, Chelsea two. Um, absolute shocking performance. Um, terrible from the word go. Uh, we knew when we saw the team, we we just knew it was going to be five at the back. It was going to be another. Let's sit back and try and catch them on the break. Steve Bruce's comments before the game pretty much confirmed that. It's always about the opposition. It's never about us. Um, do you know I was raging? Absolutely raging after that game again today, but I thought, you know, when I come to do the video, I thought, what's the point of getting so annoyed and so upset and blood pressure high? Why? You know, it, it's we've come to expect this now with Steve Bruce and the fact that we just, this is where we are. We are going to be like this all season. And quite frankly, I have a feeling that we're going to get relegated because we're just rubbish. You know, there's no drive in the team. There's no determination. There's no effort to get forward there's no ambition to win the game and that all stems from the manager you know yes we can look at the players on an individual basis and say are they good enough some are some aren't by a long shot but when you look at that team itself we are much better than what we show on the pitch on paper if Steve Bruce was to say to the guys right let's go and attack these boys you know we did it in little phases today in the second half we had a little go and look at the success we had coming forward. But then all of a sudden, we shut up shop and we go back into this shell. It's, 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 it fits and starts today in the second half. But it just gave you a little glimpse of what we can actually do if we attack. First half, Chelsea just, just dominated. You know, there was only one team in it. Um, from the start, you knew, you could see that Werner was going to cause some problems. You know, the, the pace he's got on the left-hand side, um, early on, brilliant save from Darlow down to his left. Um, and then he made a fantastic save from, I think it was Abraham's header, which led to the corner that they scored from. The ball comes across. Fernandez gets all in a pickle with his feet and it ends up being an own goal. Now, a few people have said it should have been a free kick. Not for me. I have to be honest. I thought that Chilwell had to put the pressure on Fernandez because why wouldn't you, for a start, when you've got an opportunity to score a goal? And second of all, the ball really had came off Fernandez before there was any contact from uh, Chilwell and the ball ends up in the in the net. So it's 1-0 to Chelsea. It could have been three or four by half time if, we, if we're being honest, which we have to be. You know, three or four wouldn't have wouldn't have been a f <laughs> it wouldn't have been a wrong score at half time. It just wouldn't. And then you think, right, if Lascelles is injured, which he clearly was, and we all knew that at half time, and a lot of people were putting on social media, why don't we try Almiron instead of Lascelles and go in a, a sort of four two three one formation, try something different because what we were trying in the first half wasn't working, and. I tweeted that out as well and I thought, right, every fan can see this. Every fan watching the game can see this. So surely that is what Bruce is going to do. But no, as usual, he just goes like for like and says, sod it, I'm staying five at the back. He then, in the second half, brings Mankey off and you think, right, is he going to start a four at the back now and try and win this game? No, he puts Murphy back there. It's just not working. And... How are we the only people to see that this useless, inept man is destroying this football club on the playing side? Mike Ashley has destroyed it in the stands, in the uh, offices, but Steve Bruce is destroying it on the pitch. He's not giving our really talented players any opportunity to do anything at all. That team today, for me, was 
poor. It gave Chelsea the signs straight away what our game plan was, that we were going to sit back and once again take it up the backside, which I've said many times on these videos. Just garbage to, to watch. It's just boring. It's It sends you to sleep. It's terrible. I was pleased to see Clark came back in today. Really happy. But I'd rather Clark was there as a back two with Fernandez. Manquillo as a right back and Jamal Lewis as a left back. But I have to say on Jamal Lewis, and I'm sorry if this upsets people, but I have to be honest. I think he is a downgrade from Willems. Now, I know Willems had his injury, etc., etc. But my God, he is a downgrade from what we had with Willems, who absolutely had the passion for this club. I know Lewis is still young, and but really, do we expect Lewis to get any better with a Steve Bruce coach? No. No, no. Not at all. And that's the worrying thing. Players are not going to get any better under this man. You know, when we had Rafa, and I hate going back to Rafa because I know it's the past, but we have to. what I'm trying to explain here is, under Rafa, we saw improvements in players. Yes, some didn't make it, but there was a lot more improvements than there was uh, players failing. And that's where you have to look at things. Who under Steve Bruce do you think has improved? I don't see anybody. Maybe Shelby, because he, he didn't get on with Rafa, but that was more of a uh, personality clash than anything else, than a... Um, than a talent. You know, so you, you've got to be honest. And the second half, we often puffed, didn't we? Longstaff hit the bar. I thought he was our best player today, actually, Longstaff. He, um, he he did put himself around. He was winning the ball. He was passing it around. But again, we had nobody driving forward. No passion. No ambition to win that game at all. And at 1-0, you're thinking, why? There was an incident in the second half, but I think it was 2-0 at the time. Where we had a throw in right by Chelsea's box and it ended up back with Darlow. That is the ambition that Newcastle United have. The fact that we were in Chelsea's half, we were in their box with a throw in and it ends up back with Darlow. What's the point? What is the point of supporting this club at the moment? And Chelsea's second goal, Werner's pace just out, just, he was. Somebody let the touch paper with lit the touch paper with him and he just flew past two players and Tammy Abraham he wasn't gonna miss that, was he? You know, on a plate, brilliant setup from Werner. Um I've said before I'm a massive fan of Werner and um he, he caused us problems all day. Didn't get his goal, he was unlucky on a couple of occasions, but you know, he still hurt us in places and that that burst of speed was just tremendous. Um and then, you know, you you know we've lost the game. Again. And the fact is, when we're losing these games 1-0 or 2-0, you, you look and think, are we actually doing anything to get back in this game? Are we bothered that we're losing this game? Because I couldn't see it. I really couldn't. I couldn't see anything again. And I know, yes, you can say we've got a couple of players missing, blah, blah, blah. But so did Chelsea. You know, you can't blame international break because Chelsea had the their full squad was basically on international duty. We weren't. This inept idiot that we've got as manager had two weeks to prepare this team. Two whole weeks to prepare this team. And what's he done? What's he done in those two weeks? Absolutely shite all. He's done nothing. You can't say he's worked on anything on the training pitch because... You know, th those 11 players go out and they just look lost. They're just told to sit back. Sit back. Let Chelsea come on to us. Just like we did against Southampton. Just like we've done against most teams this season. And it doesn't work. But this dinosaur. And, you know, we hear pundits like Pulis and everybody else saying, oh, what a wonderful job he's done. No, you come and sit and watch the 90 minutes of crap that we have to put up with week in, week out. This dinosaur club needs to just pack it in. It's it's rubbish. The pundits are talking absolutely crap. And they're, they're trying to make Newcastle fans out as if we want to be Champions League or Premier League winners. We don't. All we want is to see a team that tries to win a game of football every week. Not sit back and let every single team in the Premier League come on to us. It's, it's, 
how are these pundits not seeing it? And I think today, Jermaine Jenner's got a real shock because before the game, he was on BT today talking about um, Steve Bruce and, you know, Joe Cole was there as well talking about him and bigging him up and everything. But after that game, Jake Humphrey, who for me is one of my favourite pundits because he takes no crap, he knows everything Newcastle United fans are going through. All of it. He knew, and he questioned Jenis at the end, who actually turned around and said, you know, it was terrible. And the Newcastle fans are right. So he had to sit and endure that 90 minutes today and finally click thinking, Jesus, this is terrible. This is awful to watch. And it is. We are the worst team in the, in the English football to watch. And that's going right down to the EFL, National League, whatever you want. Because I know that no, no non-league team certainly plays as bad as we do. And no non-league team would set up to just get a point every single game. So for me, Steve Bruce, he's got to be fired. I know he won't be, but this is just how I feel. He's got to be sacked. He is terrible. He is the worst manager in Premier League history. And his record now is just going to get worse and worse as the season goes on at Newcastle. Because the man is inept. He's clueless. Um... What I'm going to do, I know I'd, uh, on Twitter I put that um, I wanted you to send me your comments on the game because I wanted to um, mention them in this video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate video probably on Monday, um, a sort of fan's reaction to the game. So all your comments that you've put today, I'm going to do a separate video, uh, which I think will be better because uh, I'll be a lot calmer for one um, and uh, I can do a, a proper sort of fan's reaction to the match, which I've never done before. So that'll be something new to the to the channel um, rather than put it on the, the match review um, so that will be coming probably on Monday so do keep your comments coming on Twitter um, what you think of the manager what you think of the team where can we improve what can we do all that kind of stuff and uh, I'll do a fans reaction video on, on probably on Monday um, but player ratings wise I'll do that in the fans reaction because if it was up to me today, then, you know, I have to think logically about these player ratings. And for me, a lot of them wouldn't even score. But, you, you know, we have to be realistic about it. And I'm going to do that in the fans reaction video. So uh, do subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, like I've said a million times before, this isn't just the Newcastle United channel. It's a, it's a football channel. I'm trying to get lots of subscribers on board. For a big football community, um, the Newcastle United uh, stuff is in different playlists to the Premier League and other football news. So you can just come to the channel if you want to look at the Premier League stuff. There's a separate playlist, Newcastle stuff playlist there. So I'm just wanting a big, big football community. Subscribers are going up slowly, but we're getting there. Um, I had a nice comment of somebody the other day saying he doesn't understand how I don't have more subscribers. I did at one stage. Um, you know, I had a well over three thousand, but. Uh, I had a little run-in with the trolls and everybody knows about that, that I just decided to come off and delete my channel, which I'm really annoyed that I did and let them win. But we're back anyway and, you know, we're back with a new channel and we just have to grow it. So if you're new, if you've just seen this channel, you've just seen this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all that jazz, and uh, you'll be notified of uh, any future uploads. But until then, I'll be doing a Premier League uh, review after the weekend to see if any of my predictions are right. I can tell you now after only seeing two Premier League games this season, or <laughs> this season, two Premier League games this weekend, um, one of my predictions is completely wrong. So if anybody did put a bet on based on my predictions, you've lost money already. So I'm, I do apologise for that, but never mind. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry it's not a more positive video, but what can you do when you're a Newcastle United fan at the minute? Where's the positivity coming from? Somebody tell me in the comments because I don't know. I'm, I'm lost. I'm just lost now with where to go with these, what to say on these reviews or, you know, where are we going as a club in general? We just seem to be treading water, floating, and then more water's coming in and we're starting to sink down the league. So it's, uh, it's drab, isn't it? But never mind. We move on. Another defeat, unfortunately. But do catch me early next week for some more videos on the tune review. Until then... Wherever you are, please do stay safe and take care. Be strong. Be strong.